Hi there, it's Chris Hamilton here with Sales Tip a Day, www.salestipaday.com. And today I thought what I'd show you is a segment that I did out of a webcast that I did on uh, using uh, LinkedIn for job search. And it's all about your profile, but it's very applicable to uh, getting found online. So I thought what I'd do is I'd go through this really quickly with you so you can understand the power of your profile and why it's so important on so first of all, here's my profile. Um, uh, my profile, the very top of my profile, that talks about me, and I want to show you just kind of how important some of this stuff is in here. So first of all, by adding a picture into your profile, typically you're going to get 11 times more views, and if you have a premium account, typically you're going to get 15 times more views. And the reason why that happens is because your picture or your, when you show up in results, um, you're double the size of people that have a free account. So the eye is drawn into this. So typically, you know, people are going to start gravitating towards that. So you're going to get 15 times more views. The other thing too is that if you put in your area and also your industry, you're going to get 15 times more views. So this is more metadata that uh, LinkedIn is finding. So if someone's looking for someone in marketing in Calgary, Chances are I'm going to start showing up in those results uh, compared to other people. So uh, make sure you get that stuff in there. The other thing is, and I talked about this in a prior uh, email segment that I sent out, was that 50% of B2B buyers go online to find a product or service or start their initial uh, looking. If you don't have a picture, those 50%, 50% of them will automatically discount you and won't even look at your profile. So get a profile picture up, make sure it's professional, and um, that way you're gonna get found. Now the other thing too is that your education, it's very important that you put your education in there. The reason being is once again also, you're gonna get 10 times more views. The other thing, if you put skills in here, you get 13 times more views on a LinkedIn. And I think the reason being on this one is that specific things are found. So if you take a look down the left-hand side there, you're going to see like marketing, business development, sales, direct sales, all that stuff. I've got like 99 plus people that have, um, have uh, uh, endorsed me on those. So chances are, once again, that metadata is going in and you're getting found on uh, LinkedIn because of that sort of stuff. The other thing too is if you have only one job listed, you're doing yourself a disservice. If you have uh, two or more jobs listed in your profile, you're going to get 12 times more views from uh, in, on LinkedIn. And then what you need to look at is your tagline. So just below um, your name on LinkedIn, what you have to do is you have to put something in there. Don't put your title. Don't put your your, your occupation. Put something in there that allows people to understand what you can do for them. And, you know, in, in certain cases, here's another one that I came up with, which is like, I'm a sales and marketing rock star. I'll take your company to company higher, connect with me now or whatever. So basically what I do is I say, here's what I am, here's what I do, and then have a call to action in there, which, you know, I am an SMB marketing resource. What I do is I will generate up to 10 times more sales leads for your company. And then, you know what, my call to action is ask me how. The uh, last thing I want to talk about here, or one of the last things I want to talk about here is your profile strength. So one of the things that LinkedIn does very well is they will start with where you're at on your profile and then, you know, along the way it will give you tips and guidance as to what you want to do. You want to take yourself from a beginner or anything uh, that's below all-star. You want to try to move yourself up to all-star. So continually be updating or adding to your profile. A couple other things that you can do in your profile. So for example, in your summary and also in your jobs, uh, you can add multimedia. So in this case, I, I was a, I was working for a company called Intralinks, and what I did was they do virtual data rooms for uh, mergers and acquisitions, and I put different um, videos into my profile so that people were looking, they could click on here and find some information. Just another thing that you can do. Uh, one of the big things that you really seriously should start looking at as well is getting recommendations for the different positions that you're in. When you think about it, is that if someone is um, if someone is actually uh, looking at a uh, at your profile and they're comparing you against someone else, 
Um, you know, if you have a bunch of recommendations so you're saying you do awesome and the other person has none, chances are they're going to gravitate more towards you. Uh, one of the last things. This is the absolute last thing. If you have the ability, you can create posts in LinkedIn and they show up in your profile too. It just shows you, uh, you know, kind of makes you look like a thought leader in your industry. That's one of the pillars of LinkedIn social selling index is, um, you know, engaging and sharing information. This is just one of the ways that you can do it. Hopefully you find that information useful. If you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me, Chris, at salestipaday.com or in North America, give me a call at 403-630-1243.